In this lesson, I'll quickly teach you how to sketch logarithmic functions. The steps to doing this are outlined right here, and we will refer back to them as we do the question, which reads, sketch the graph of f of x is equal to log base 3 of x. The very first step tells us that we need to change log 3x into an exponential version of that function. We know how to convert log functions. It's expected you know how to do this. In case you don't, just rewrite it as an equation. y is equal to log base 3 of x. And you see this base? Well, that becomes the base of the power. And the exponent is x. Now, we've gone through a video where we learned how to graph exponential functions like this. And what we learned was that if this value, the base, is greater than 1, which it is, then it will be exponentially growing like that. Now, that's important for us because all we have to do from here is choose three random x values. Let's say x is equal to negative 1, 0, and 1. And this will give us some reference points, which we can use moving on to step two. If I substitute zero into my function, I get three to the power of zero is one. So I have a value at zero and one. I'll also have a value at, if I substitute x is equal to one, one and three. If I substitute negative one, I get negative one and a third. So my function should look like this. In step number two, they say, because f of x is equal to log b x is the inverse of y is equal to b to the power of x, we can find several points of the graph of this by simply reversing the ordered pairs that we found here. So we had a point at negative one and a third this point becomes a third and negative one. That point was zero and one. It becomes one and zero. And that point was one and three. It now becomes three and one. So these points will serve as the points of our log function. Let's go ahead and plot them. We have a third and negative one is, let's see right here. One and zero is here. And three and one is right there. Finally, in step three, they say plot the ordered pairs from step two, which we just did, and complete the graph of the function by connecting the ordered pairs with a smooth curve. The graph of the log function is a reflection of the graph of y is equal to b to the power of x about the line y is equal to x. The line y is equal to x is a diagonal crossing through the origin. So if I draw that and I create a smooth curve that connects these, I get the following. And remember that here, that was a horizontal asymptote. So we have to respect that now along the y-axis. Make sure that this red curve does not pass the y-axis given the parameters of this function. And so there you have it. That is how to sketch logarithmic functions. It is based on our knowledge of exponential functions. And we've already done a video on how to transform so you now know the relationship between the two. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again.